In this video, we are going to implement events to our item, so we can select an item, of course, we are going to only select the item that is non-empty, but also we are going to be able to reset our items and to set the data for them to show the image as well as the quantity of the item that we have in our inventory. Okay, let's get going. In the previous video, we have created the logic behind opening and closing the inventory window and populating the uh, main content of the inventory with the number of slots defined inside our inventory controller. So inside our player game object, there is the inventory controller script and it has five uh, slots as the inventory size. Let's continue implementing the logic behind our inventory. And one thing that we do not have currently is the way to reset our prefab, our item UI. Currently it has the border that we can disable the image to uh, see if this is selected or not. We have our text and the text background, which we basically want to disable if the slot is empty and enable if this is not empty, as well as the image. And again, we can disable the image to make the slot empty or we can actually dis disable the whole thing if it doesn't show anything special right now so basically the empty slot would look like this we could have the image here with the uh, value and now this is a slot that is filled and if we enable the image on the border we would have the selected slot and we want to implement this sort of logic in a script so that we can perform this uh, when we when the user interacts with our inventory so on click and on filling in the inventory slots from the level of our inventory controller when we actually have something to populate our inventory slots with in our ui folder we already have defined the ui inventory item let's open this script up okay I'm going to delete the start and update methods and instead I'm going to paste some fields that we are going to use. So let me talk about those. We are going to have a serialized field private image item image. So this is the image that we are going to use to display our item. Right click on this image quick actions and we are going to import using unity engine.ui namespace since we need to use this to make this uh, to import those classes. Next, we also need to have the quantity text. So we are going to have serialized field private TMP underscore text. And we need to type it like this because we need to be using a TM Pro uh, library. So we can add at the top using and we can type TM Pro. And then you should be able to type uh, this TMP underscore text. Next, we are going to have a serialized field private image border image. So as you might recall, we cannot disable the game object on the border. We only can disable the image. So we have those things covered. And of course, if we disable the item image game object, we are going to hide the quantity as well. We also want to be able to drag on the, the images, so uh, drag the items of our UI to swap them around in our inventory, as well as to get some feedback by clicking those items. So to do this, we are going to implement public event action. Uh, with the type uh, in the triangular brackets UI inventory item. So right click on this action, quick actions and uh, using system. So this library using system will be added at the top. Now action is a delegate in C sharp that will allow us to call a method assigned to this. If you're not familiar with uh, event delegates in C sharp, I will post a link to my other video explaining the Lambda expression and the delegates in C sharp in Unity. Basic idea is that UI inventory item class doesn't exactly know what happens if the item is clicked or dragged or is dropped on another item. This is why we need to send this uh, event, so send this message to some uh, other script. This will know exactly what to do. And this script will probably be the UI inventory page, which will in turn ask the inventory controller what to do when the two things are swapped or just send the information that two things were swapped. So there's those indices have changed. So the inventory system needs to swap those items in its uh, list. So basically this is the idea. So we need to change, send messages to other scripts from the level of the, our UI inventory item. And that's when where the event action delegates comes in. We are going to simply send the message that item was clicked and we are going to send the reference to this specific item and we are going to find it on our list of UI inventory items inside our UI inventory page since each item doesn't know exactly what is its index inside the UI and the UI will note its index and will communicate this to our inventory controller. 
and this is basically how our model view controller pattern will work okay back to our ui inventory item we have on item clicked on item dropped on item being dragged on on item and drag now one more thing that we will add is also the on right mouse button click so on item clicked will be our left mouse click just to select our item just to get the information about it our right mouse button click will show us the menu of options what we can do with this item so use it or equip it or drop it so this is what this event will uh, inform our ui uh, inventory system about last thing that we are going to have is a private bool empty boolean flag and this will be set to true basically some of those events should not be called when the item is empty like for example what is the point of dragging an empty item we should only be able to drag the item that contains something that's why we need this bull flag empty for now let me paste methods that we are going to use here and from the top we are going to have a public void awake which will call two methods reset data and deselect now we can right click on this quick action and you should see generate method to generate this method and we should be able to generate the reset data and deselect now you may need to change this private uh, modifier to be public because we may want to reset the data from the level of our uh, ui we also need to do this on awake of our inventory item just for safety to for it to be empty so public void reset data will contain this item image game object set active to false so you might recall that if we disable the image we are also going to hide the quantity of the item and we are going to basically hide the white uh, image so this will make our slot look empty and we need to set the empty bull flag to true uh, every time we reset our data now this select is all about the border image so we need to set the border image enabled to false to hide our border now if we want to set data we need to have a public void set data and we want to use the basic input data so we do not uh, want to know about uh, any specifics of our item we know that our ua inventory item has a image so we are going to pass sprite sprite and int quantity and we are going to do here this item image game object set active true so we are going to enable our image and the quantity text we are going to set this image sprite to be the sprite that we have passed here this quantity text dot text quantity a plus empty string so we turn this int to a string and we are going to set empty to be false of course someone might put a uh, null sprite here and the quantity of zero and this will be set to be an empty image or empty slot but this will still contain some data so you may want to check against this but basically this is the idea and this keyword i only use it to indicate that we are setting the parameters of the state of this class so just for clarity i'm using this dot but you do not have to do this as you can see with this empty i'm not using this here because i know this uh, only exists in the context of our class but basically to be consistent i should be, maybe use something like this uh, everywhere anyhow we're going to have next public void select which simply will set the border image enabled to be true now next we're going to have the uh, methods responsible to inform our uh, ui inventory page about the events of dr being dragged being dropped and being clicked in our code we are going to simply implement the methods like public void on begin drag which will simply check if the, the item is empty we are going to return we do not want to drag this item if not we still need to inform someone else about this so we need to have on item begin drag so this is one of the action events and to call it we need to first check if this no is not null so if there is something assigned to it some method is uh, assigned to listen to this message if there is something we are going to call invoke and we are going to pass this as you might recall our events take ui inventory item reference so we're going to basically pass the uh, reference to this item okay so this was on begin drag so we are going to call on item begin drag public void on drop will call on item drop on so when we drop our item on another item we need to also inform our ui about this uh, this is for example for the purpose of deselecting the current item and selecting the new slot that we have dropped on our current item so on item dropped on question mark dot invoke this since we are not going to begin dragging an empty item we are not going to need to check 
uh, if this is empty because this will never be called for the empty item and we have public void on end drag and on end drag if we have stopped dragging our item somewhere outside of the bounds of another item so we have dropped it somewhere else we basically want to reset everything back to what it was earlier so we want to call on item and drag question mark dot invoke this now one thing that we need to do differently with our public void on pointer click which is right click and left click of our mouse button is get the base event data data right click on this quick actions and say using unity engine dot event systems so this will be imported at the top uh, unity engine event systems so this data passes to us the data about the position of the item but as well which button uh, has uh, been uh, used to click on this item so we are going to have pointer event data pointer data we are going to convert our data to be pointer event data because we know that we are going to use the pointer of our mouse to click our item and we are going to check if pointer data button is equal to pointer event data input button right so this will only work for a pc implementation of course we're going to know that we have clicked using our right mouse button so we want to call on right mouse button click uh, question mark dot invoke this else we are going to have on item clicked question mark dot invoke uh, this so we are basically calling the left mouse button wa used was used to click this item so this is just selecting the item okay this might be a bit longer video but let's finish implementing this so let's save this and you can of course check the script on the github repository if you need to let's go back to unity for now okay and inside our prefab of our item ui we already have inventory item script added here because we have used it inside our ui inventory page script and we have those item image slots so let's drag image quantity text let's drag the text tmp and the border image we need to drag the border game object and it will access the image of this so we can only hide the image and not disable the game object itself okay and this is it let's go back and now every image uh, item uh, UI prefab will have this uh, UI inventory item. But let's go back to our prefab because we have never called our on drag and on item clicked events. So what we need to do is add component and let's type event. And we should have events trigger component. And this events trigger component allows us to add any event that we want to have uh, to be called uh, based on what happens with our UI element. And this is pretty nice alternative instead of implementing this inside our script uh, through code we can add it here and call a method on a script that is on this game object or any object actually uh, in the hierarchy now since we are in the prefab we can only call scripts from our prefab so let's add events and of course as you might recall we need to have a pointer click so let's select this we need to have a, a drag event we need to have a drop event and we need to have also uh, the begin drag and actually i do not want to have the uh, drag event sorry about this we need to remove this just click this minus icon instead we want to have the begin drag and end drag so basically what we need to do is click plus icon near each of those events and we need to drag here ui inventory script our uh, ui inventory item script to every non-object reference and we are going to select the method that we want to uh, call so no function instead select our ui inventory item and we have on pointer click since it takes in base event data it shows up at the top of our list for others we need to find those so let's drop event let's select no function ui inventory item and we should have on the drop for begin drag let's select ui inventory item on begin drag and we have end drag select no function ui inventory item on end drag okay that's it for setting up our ui inventory item last thing we need to do is go to our scripts open our ui inventory ui inventory page script okay let's scroll down and we are going to select our initialize inventory ui method which initializes all the ui elements and inside this for loop we are going to add a long list of ui item on item clicked on item begin drag on item uh, drop on on item end drag and on right mouse button click so this is how we can assign methods to those events and we are going to use plus equals 
uh, sign and we're going to add handle item selection for our on item clicked uh, this will be a new method so right click here quick actions and generate method ui inventory page handle item selection this will be generated like this we need to do this couple more times so let's type ui invent uh, ui item on item begin drag plus equals handle begin drag right click and quick actions and generate this method ui item on item drop on handle swap because basically when we drop on another item we need to swap the items inside our inventory right click quick actions and gen generate this method ui item on item uh, and drag we're going to add plus equals handle and drag right click quick actions and generate this method and last one will be ui item on right mouse button click and this will be plus equals handle show items actions or our item actions right click quick actions and generate this and this method will basically show us another uh, ui showing us the buttons of what we can do with this item okay just to test it let's delete the throw exceptions from each of those newly created methods okay and what we can do is let's select this handle item selection let's debug dot log and we are going to pass here our ui inventory item will be the reference so let's type object dot name and we are going to basically debug the name of the object and we are going to see if our items are indeed clickable so let's save this and let's go back to unity okay if everything went well let's press play I'm going to use I to open the inventory and we should be able to see at the bottom in the inventory uh, in the debug console if I stop we're going to see that the item UI name clone was called five times since I have clicked on all of the five items okay since we know that we can go back to our UI inventory item and just for the sake of it let's add this if empty return to our on pointer click event so if we have the empty item we do not want to click it okay this is it for this video sorry about its length in the next one we are going to implement the script to reset our description of the item and set the script so we can set it to the data that we pass to it okay see you in the next video